Okay, so there's a fancy strumming ending at the end there. So let me just show you that quickly. Okay, so we've got uh, finger number one on the third fret of F sharp, finger number two on the fourth, finger number three on the fifth. So it's like a C chord, but you see I'm not pressing down on that with that first finger. We're gonna keep it up, okay? Here's the strum rhythm. With your finger strum, you're gonna go down, down, up, up, down. Try that, here we go. Down, down, up, up, down. One more time for practice, go. Down, down, up, up, down. Good, now let's move it down one whole fret. So finger number one is on the second fret. Try that, here we go. Good, let's slide it back down one more till we're in first position. Here we go, and. Now I want you to keep sliding and bump finger number one right off the fretboard. And now I've got finger number two and finger number three. Here we go, same thing. So let's try that from the beginning of that part. A one, so we're gonna do it one time on each fret. A one, two, here we go. seven chord a chord so I'm going down up down up up down but I'm lifting finger number two I'm going which is uh, let's see if I can get a good angle here down up down up up down on 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 And then D chord. So let's try it from the top. Here we go. And E7, A, D. Oops, I didn't do that very well. So what you can do is uh, strum. little tremolo E strum as you move finger number three up the B string you're just gonna go try and uh, hit more of the the B the bottom strings not so much the whole the whole um, all of the strings but just maybe the bottom two strings by angling your hand okay and just do a quick and go up and then we take a breath and you can strum on a D6, which is all open strings, no fingers, or you can strum on a D, or, or you could keep it up here on the it's really high D, and do that. So, I'll do it one more time for good measure. Here we go, it's. Enjoy that.